makes your prayer effective? What makes it different from the prayer that Muslims pray? Because Muslims pray too. Muslims fast. Are you aware of that? They fast Ramadan. Wake up in the morning and eat and then start fasting. <laughs> what, ma- <laughs> what makes your prayer, your fasting effective? What makes it have value in the realm of the spirit is not the prayer itself. It's not the fasting itself. But it is a, a deposit you have. When you begin to pray, prayer is good. Hmm? Hmm, you are not with me. Prayer is good. But how many of you have tried praying when God was not helping you to pray? How did you feel? Try and it was hard. Because it's not natural. Prayer is not natural. You are supposed to pray in the power of the Holy Ghost. So, there is an anointing that makes prayer natural. There is an enablement that you can receive that makes it prayer a delight. Is that true? Good. Now, that anointing, that anointing received to make prayer a delight is what makes prayer powerful. Because if you pray without grace, you pray without help, that prayer is going to be dry. And when you finish praying, you need to take Panadol. Because you prayed with your strength. Are you with me? But if the Holy Spirit helps you pray, even though prayer is a supernatural thing, you will do that prayer as though it were natural. You are helped from an office. There's an office that allocated grace to you so that that supernatural thing, you can prosecute it as though it was natural. Hearing God is not natural. But there is an office that allocates grace to you such that you will hear God as though it was a a friend, a human being that was discussing with you. Do you understand that? Spiritual resources were deployed to make supernatural things look natural. Now, in my house, we have a prayer time. Our prayer time is 10 p.m. in the, in the evening. So, we, we just began the normal rigor, prayer rigor, the normal stuff. And as we just started the prayer, just a little... I don't like sounding like this, but that's the truth. It's not my fault. I was just giving thanks to God because my prayer points in life has finished. All, all my prayer points, personal prayer points have finished. So what I do now <laughs> is that I just labor in thanksgiving. So I was doing my laboring. And then suddenly, an angel of the Lord just came and took me. We were still in the parlor, but I was not with them. And began to show me, it took me somewhere, took me somewhere, took me somewhere. And from, if I got it right, it was still this city. It was taking me to. Then took me through one part, took me to a place, and then showed me one thing that looked like dirty water. I said, do you know what this thing is? I don't know, but it's dirty. Ah! Screwed oil. And and the well was bubbling like this. It's crude oil. It's a crude oil. Yes, crude oil. What is crude oil oil doing here? He said, um, this oil well was supposed to fund a certain pastor's ministry in this town. But the, the, the pastor did not follow God diligently enough for him to bring him to this. I say, what? This is strange. Okay, then the story has ended. I, I've cut it. That's the only part I want you to hear. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the place, in that our prayer place, there were people doing like this. And they didn't hear what I said. What I heard. 